Yo, what's good? Let's check out the first episode for Faraway Paladin. Now, you already know the YouTuber things, and make sure you follow me on social medias, but if you want to check out other reactions for this series, you can click this link right up here, and it'll take you to that playlist. Shout out to our amazing patrons over on Patreon, getting access to the full-length reactions of all of the anime from Fall 2021 onward. If you want to join in and become a patron, then make sure you click the link down in the description, and that way you can get access to those full-length reactions for the anime that I watched seasonally and if you're interested in more exclusive reactions that will not be edited and uploaded to youtube for quite a while we've got a tier for that so far away paladin is i wasn't really moved by the trailer that i watched the trailer that i watched was like okay it feels like a generic isekai sort of thing like he looks like he's being raised by like a skeleton and like this this weird like witch lady like i don't eh. but the synopsis sounded pretty dope like the evil gods and the good gods type of thing, being raised by the undead. Like, I was like, okay, this synopsis sounds pretty dope. A lot of people have told me that the first arc, especially for this series, is really, really good. And the series as a whole is a good series. So I should definitely check it out. Yeah, with all of those comments, I was just like, all right, I guess I'm checking it out. So that's what we're going to do right now. Let's go and check this one out. Huh. <laughs> Teach a new history, man. Okay. Greater God was pleased and said it was it is good. Gus the ghost is a little eccentric and he can be overbearing. But good cannot exist without bad. But he's smarter than anyone else and he teaches me things. Oh, cool. So this is like the, the this is the intelligent one, the one that teaches our our, our lead uh some knowledge. Words of creation. These words. That's kind of cool, dude. Power of words. Why is her name Rhea Sylvia? Everyone else has like these one word names and she's not here with like a full name. Oh, because the power of words. Gracefeel. What are you the god of? God of light. Maybe she is the god. Hey. Aww. Oh, dope. Oh, shit. <laughs> Be unruly. Okay, it's a muscle guy. Put some meat on his bones. <laughs> hmm. Some mysteries introduced early on. I'm a reincarnation. I used to play video games, of course, bro. We're a fucking loser, dude. I'm just kidding. Chill. That used to be me. They're gonna raise you. 186th morning? Half a year since I started living with these cor walking corpses. Okay. Bright and sunny and beautiful outside? Ooh, damn. Mm-mm. Oh, that's kind of cool. What is this? This looks like a destroyed city. This time, yeah. Take advantage of your second life. Yeah. In true isekai fashion. A little bit of previous life here? Nope, never mind. A little bit of grown up. Okay, cool. No. What the fuck? Yo, big ass. Bro, you don't even have muscles, old bony ass. Interesting. Hmm. 
Very interesting. Wasn't he just saying he was too accurate? Because <laughs> he's a ghost, he can't hold... Dude, he's just, he's just a little bit of money hungry, huh? Oh. Scary stuff. Stagnate. Oh. Hmm. Okay. Oh no. Was that trying to capture a bird? Oh, we got one. Uh, you need to snap its neck quick. Clap. Come on, quick. Clap. Survival, bro. Ah, blood. <laughs> You'll be fine, probably. Damn, bro. And sword's gonna land in front of us? Where is it? There it is. He was doing pretty good though. Oh, that's dope. Oh, tell us! Hey! Hey, you don't just hide the details. At one point, the three of you were what? Three of you were enemies, lovers, um, in a party. Wait. All right, bro, I missed what he said. All right, where are we at? 1550, hold on. Oh, so he doesn't like humans. Okay, gotcha. All right, interesting. Yeah, they don't really fuck with humans, but they fuck with you, Will. <laughs> I love the little dynamics between their little group. Oh, dude. Are they going to die before he gets to that point? And he's going to have to find out this shit on his own eventually? They love you. That's Papa. <laughs> I think she's sacrificing shit or something, dude. Isn't that sus? What does she do in that temple, baking bread? How? Find out. You need the info. Uh-oh. Well, that's why they didn't want you to come in. Should have just told him that you just fucking turn into flames and you pray. Oh my gosh. That bread is a gift from the Earth Mother. Oh, Mary. Oh. Oh. That was a nice wholesome first episode. Ah, uh, this one's an isekai. I don't uh I feel like I'm going to get spoiled if I watch the OP, right? 
Uh, I might watch it on the second one. I might watch the second episode OP. Let me know if there's spoilers there, because I'm not trying to get spoiled here. So just let me know if I should or should not be watching this OP. It's just really dangerous, bro. OPs be spoily as fuck, especially when it comes to Izakai. So mm, want to avoid that. So let's talk about the episode then. We get introduced to Will, who lived a very like you know, standard, I just got isekai type of life before getting isekai Played games, seems like he was, you know, he, he had a very, like, basic life. He didn't have anybody really that cared for him, blah, blah, blah. Some point, I'm assuming he dies and gets reincarnated in this world, where he is the only human, or so he believes, surrounded by three monsters. One is a ghost who is very knowledgeable. He looks like he was some sort of like great wizard in his previous life because by the way, they were all humans previously. One is a giant skeleton who used to be a, like a, a really great warrior. And then the other is some undead mummified lady, or maybe a saint. You know how there's normally like that saint lady in, in parties and like, um, adventurer parties. I'm guessing that's probably along the lines of what she had. At some point, they all died. I'm assuming they were in a party together. And then they made a pact with the god of the undead in order to stay alive in this world. For what purpose? I don't know. But Mary has ever since, you know, ever since making that pact, or even since long before, probably, she has always prayed to this god. I think it's Mater, something like that. She is the god of like earth and fertility, maybe, or something along those lines. I don't know. She seems like the, the mother god, you know? She always prays to her, but, you know, since she's undead, she actually takes a lot of damage doing so because she's praying to a good god and she is living on behalf of an evil god, you know? We learn in this episode, words have so much power. That is how magic occurs. That is how a lot of things occur, actually. Words have so much power to the point where the statues actually have, like, their names crossed because they want to avoid the full word which would give them that power. It's very, very interesting. I like this concept of words with power. We see a little bit about the gods, which is cool. The, I, I think it's only the good gods, not the evil gods that are in that temple. He asks about the bread. How does the bread happen? She says, I can't tell you. We find out later that the bread is the result of her prayer. Every day that she prays, some bread is given to her from that God that she prays to because she endures that pain and she's still devoted and dedicated to that same God she has always prayed to. And so the God offers her, you know, the bread every day, which is dope. That gets our boy some bread. Also, Blood, who is the skeleton, he be hunting a lot of like creatures. Why does he get so many? I don't get it. Because there's no shot that it's going to store very well. I don't think that they have any sort of room to store the food. How? I don't think that Will's eating all of it in a timely manner. So I don't know. Just very interesting. We got to see him growing up, learning a little bit about this world. Initially, when he is reincarnated here, he thinks that this is hell because surrounded by three monsters. But he realizes uh, soon after, you know, within like six months or so that it's not that bad. And also, Blood's a good guy. Mary's a, a, a great mom figure. Gus is like a good teacher. It's great. He's got like a good little group there. Someone who he can look up to as a mother figure. Someone he can look up to as a father figure. Someone he can look up to as a teacher. Maybe in his own sense, some sort of like maybe grandfather figure. Somebody that imparts a lot of wisdom onto him. Very nice. We learn that they really don't fuck with humans. And I'm imagining they don't fuck with humans because in their new forms... Humans probably don't really fuck with them. <laughs> Will has like a little mini battle with blood and honestly does pretty good. Not gonna lie, but in the end he does get clapped. It, but it is impressive how well he does in that little battle just because I wouldn't have expected him to do so well. And when Will first sees Mary in that room with like the blood and or not the blood, but with the fire all over her and stuff, he reacts in a way to try and save her from the fire, puts his hands into it, burns his hands all the way up to, I guess, around his elbow area, burns them, just melts the flesh, right? Which is very, very bad. Luckily, his fingers didn't get stuck together. That's something that literally can happen if you are caught in a fire. Your fingers can literally be melted together. Luckily, that doesn't happen, though. Manages to keep his fingers separate. Will have the scars for sure. Probably will always wear long gloves or bandages on his arms. Something. Not entirely sure, but that's interesting. That's how we also learn about the routine where she prays and takes on that pain regardless. I am intrigued by this story, though. This was a very brief introduction to the world and the world building within this world a solid introduction for the three characters less so will will's pretty much learning but we haven't really gotten a good idea of who he is we know that he's 
not down with killing. We know that he is very curious, but outside of that, not too much. And we learn about Blood and, and Gus and Mary, a little bit more about them, which is good because that's going to build up some character for when they die eventually, I'm assuming like, you know, I mean, uh, what is he just going to leave home one day? for no reason to go explode them. Well, I mean, that's actually totally possible, but I think one of, at least one of them's gonna die. I don't know how, I feel like humans are gonna attack and they're gonna say, no, you need to leave. And then he's gonna leave. And, but as a result, they're all gonna die. And then he's gonna have to find his way in the world, trying to figure out something, gonna be set with some sort of goal, mission, not entirely sure, but I do like the series. I will say that. So again, let me know down in the comments, is that OP gonna be spoilers? Cause I don't wanna watch it if it is going to be spoilers. Also, what did you think of the first episode? Are you interested in this series? I thought it was a solid first episode, just introducing us, but it hasn't really set up a, a major plot yet. There are a few mysteries it has hinted at, which I wanna learn a little more about, but at this time, we just don't really know. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, then like the video and subscribe to the channel with notifications on so you don't miss another one. I do anime episode reactions, manhwa chapter reactions, and reviews on anime and manga when I catch up to or finish a series that I really enjoy. So if that sounds like the type of content that you might be interested in, then please do subscribe to the channel. And until next time, make sure you all keep it fresh. Peace.